this video, we're going to be using Roblox's newest AI tool to make a Roblox game. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go to File and the Beta Features, which will be all these. So the ones you need is AI Powered Code Completion, which is the AI coding tool. And we're also going to have the Material Generator. And so save, and then you have to restart. And when you're done, we're going to go to Material Generator and then type in Ancient Stone Wall and then just generate it. You may have to wait a while, but after a while it will load. And here we go. So we can just choose any of these. I'm going to go with this one. And then you can choose the stars per tile and you can choose the pattern, organic one, you can have the name. And so we're just going to add an apart. And there we go. We can have different, like we can do this. So really close up. Or if we want to have a massive wall, we could have really... So we have it around I'd say four. Yeah, four plus six on that. And then the base material. So cobblestone and then apply. And there we go. Done. It's easy as that. And now you have a completely custom material. We're just gonna try that once more with this part. And we're going to try and make I wanna to try test limits and see if we can do cold waters. And here we go. So we can just choose this one. You can go make it like that. Ice, ice will do. And then there we go water. This is as simple as that. And so that is for the building part and now we're going to get into the scripting side of things. So if we go into server script service we're going to add in a script. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a platform that's going to be, going to be constantly moving and you've got to try and keep up with it. So we're going to do local function create part. Now we're going to use generative AI to move the part. So we're going to do move the part. There we go, we can do tab, and local function move part, and then part to position, and then it will do a random one every second. So now all we're gonna do is do move part. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do wait for child, and then new part, and then dot position. So now it will, it will move the part named new part, which should be created thanks to this function. And there we go, it is moving in random directions. And if you want this code, wait till the end of the video and I'll tell you exactly where you can get it. As you can see, it's moving around randomly just as the code wanted it to. So let's have it so it moves around every second and let's say it changes, uh, change the parts color every second. And I think it has to be that kind of colour and not the English version. So I think this is an American thing. So here we go. Um, change colour. Which we do. And there we go. And now we can just do change colour. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to copy this. Cut that. And we're going to put it in here. So now we can just change this function to change part. We can get rid of this. And now we can just change this to change part. And now we'll see if it works. And there we go. Every second it changes position and changes color. And, and this is from a different video. If you want to know how to make a, an AI, like, like an, an enemy AI, make sure to click the video on the screen. And just before the video ends, I'm going to tell you exactly where to get this script. There'll be a link in the description. See ya.